Okay, got a couple new products today. Wanted to show off. Got a new Ego C Twist. Ego C Twist. If I get that on the camera. Uh, from uh, Fast Tech. And uh, it's not knurled like my winder is over here then I got my V2 batteries over here I also got this new case from Fast Tech it's uh, three dollars and ninety five cents for an extra large case it says Ego has a little plastic piece to keep it nice and shiny and uh, stores a whole bunch of stuff I got EVODs in here Ooh. I got Ac Liquimax blanks uh, I got a skirt and uh, my spinner with uh, it fits both sides my uh, V2 batteries but the case was three dollars ninety five cents I wanted to show that off so now I can actually carry some of my stuff I got some job interviews for uh, the e-cigarette community I'm trying to break into and uh, I also bought this which was an extra ego charger uh, the charger is the same exact charger as I bought for four dollars from another company and I got it for like a dollar ninety five from Fast Tech. So now I have two of them. I could have both batteries charging simultaneously. But I really wanted to talk about the Seago Twist real quick. I got a Pro Tank on here. Let's test it out. Four volts, two point four ohms or two point two ohms, somewhere in there. good vapor one thing I've noticed is my winder is not working as good it only lasts for about an hour maybe two if I'm lucky at 3.8 volts but if I pump it up to 4.8 volts I only get about 45 minutes out of it before it dies so be aware with these twist batteries these winder batteries these spinner batteries they do wear out really quick you have to really babysit them when they're charging as soon as that light turns green pull them off Otherwise, uh, they overcharge and they deplete what the battery cells are able to hold in the future. And uh, and that's why I got two. I don't want to have to babysit. I expect them to go fairly bad. Uh, I want to plug them in at night when I go to bed and pick them off in the morning like I've heard other people do. And uh, have an hour or two hours to four hours worth of vape time. And then I switch to my V2s while they're charging again during the day. I'm picking up a VAMO from Fast Tech hopefully uh, on the 1st. I'm going to pick up the whole VAMO kit with the uh, IntelliCharger 2, uh, two Panasonic batteries, and a VAMO version 2 for uh, $51, and that includes shipping, $51.83. Uh, so, but back to this uh, Ego Twist. It's not knurled like my winder is. My winder has little knurled edges. I don't know if you can see them. They're knurled down the bottom. It spins really easy. It's like butter. But this new Ego Twist is like death to turn. You have to grip on like a vise. You can't see the markings. That's 4 volts. Then the next reading is 4.8 volts. But there's a couple little slashes to let you know where you are in between the 4.0 and the 4.8. One more drag off this. It was $12.50 for the Seago Twist, 1100 ma. Vaping incredible. Four volts almost wants to burn it. I can do 4.8 with my ego with my winder and my vision smoke tech winder and uh, it doesn't even get close to burning it but with this ego twist I can only go up to four with my pro tank so uh, running low on juice there but uh, I'm very satisfied with the ego twist so far I don't know how the longevity will be maybe I'll do another video talking about how long it lasts uh, when it's new as compared to after it's been used for a while like I said my winder would last me about four hours when it was new two months ago and uh, now it's lasting me about an hour to two depending on what my voltage is set at and if I drag constantly 45 minutes if I be if I pacifier it and I sit there and I vape and I vape and I vape like I'm watching my Smallville series at the end of the night uh, I'm, anyway that's a whole other site 
Uh, but if I'm watching my Smallville series, I'll babysit it, and uh, it's only good for about 45 minutes at about 4.2 volts. Uh, so be aware that these batteries, you have to wait for them to charge. You can't just slip out a new battery in 18350 like you can with the VAMO or the SVD. Uh, even the MVP has a 2600 or 2400 MAH life, so you should be getting about three, three hours, two and a half hours from an MVP if you use it constantly. But my gosh, that's a lot of vaping. Uh, so anyway, what I wanted to point out was the fact that these are not knurled edges and they are hard to hold on to. It is hard to see. Uh, you almost need a flashlight to read the writing on it. But it works pretty well for uh, brand new out of the package. As I said, I got the kit, my Ego kit, my charger, and an Ego Twist battery all for uh, $18. Uh, so it's a pretty nice little kit if you already got a tank. Uh, $18 for a battery, a case, and a charger. You can't go wrong with that. You pay $26 for an Ego Twist uh, 650 MAH from half these companies. So check out Fast Tech. Uh, the prices are good. Uh, the quality is okay. I'm satisfied with it. I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from them and besides the juices being awful I've only gotten one juice but it was not Marlboro <laughs> it was smoky cigarette yucky works but only if you have to juice so one more drag off this we'll pump it all the way up to 4.8 and see how we do And I'm vaping on some straw, uh, watermelon from uh, Mount Baker. Uh, it's not as bad after it steeps for a week. Uh, when you first get it, it's just awful. But you leave the bottle open for two days, uh, let it air out, shake it every day, and then uh, cover it up and leave it in a dark place. I put it right back in the box it came from, and it's steeped for a week. And now it actually tastes like strawberry. It's okay. It's like a powder strawberry, though. Uh, it's like somebody put powder all over the inside of my mouth and it tastes like strawberry powder. It's not that good watermelon. It's not that good watermelon that I get from Aqua Vapor that tastes, oh, yum. Just an all day vape. But, uh, anyway, let me just double check, make sure we're at 4.8 volts. It's so dark. Yep, that's 3.2, and that's 4.8, so let's do one more 4, it seems like the sweet spot for it, and we'll call this video done. Nice vape, the battery's only half charged, uh, so you can pick up all three of the things that you see here for 18 bucks from fast tech and uh... you're getting okay quality uh... something that you don't feel ripped off like uh... with this winder battery i have it only lasted me two months and cost me twenty bucks on sale kind of upset i mean an hour vape time uh... i use my pass through with my pro tank my v2 pass through with my pro tank and an 808 adapter from Mount Baker uh, costs like three bucks and I get the best hits all day long my vapor is just wonderful I'm vaping at five volts it works perfect with the pro tank doesn't work with the Vision Busy Nova STV and it kind of blows with the EVODs but the pro tank it really stands out that pass through with the 808 with the pro tank is really nice it's a nice little setup uh, you wait till they have a sale I got the pass through for fifteen dollars and three dollars for the for the Mount Baker piece, uh, the adapter, and uh, I bought a bunch of juice to make it worth the purchase, so I didn't just pay for the adapter and shipping. And uh, the Pro Tank, of course, I got uh, for free from Aqua Vapor with uh, credits. When you write a review at Aqua Vapor, they give you a credit of five dollars if they accept your review. I had like twenty-five or thirty-five dollars in review points, and I bought myself a Pro Tank 
and uh, Vision Vivinova STV. Uh, the STV kind of sucks. I'll warn you right now, it gurgles, it leaks, 